Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the system requirements for Lumin 11. We are going to explore how to select a machine that will run Lumin 11 without any issues. Let's get started. So there are a few key parameters I would like to mention before we dig into Lumin. First one is the video memory is the most important aspect for Lumin. So higher graphic card VRAM is essential, better for heavier workloads and smooth operations. The second one is RAM. So 16 gigabytes is a bare minimum. Currently I'm using a machine with 16 gigabytes and it just works fine. But when I add more details to it, then at times when I'm doing heavier workloads or very detail intensive works, then I feel some blacks so if you're looking at anything less than 16 gigabytes you're just wasting your time with increased file size the ram hungry lumen will just become sluggish therefore if you can afford much at least uh, 32 gigabytes of ram it's better 64 if you can go higher the third one and i would say the most important aspect would be thermals I can't stress enough on this one. You're going to render on Lumion. That means you will be running that machine for hours if you're doing images. But if you're doing videos, then it could be even for a day or two. And that is a continuous usage. That said, you want to make sure that machine is well cooled and the performance does not throttle with continuous usage. That being said, let's dive into Lumion web page and see the recommended hardware. So we have the minimum requirements here. They say 4GB, but I won't recommend going for a 4GB graphic card, even if you want to have a bare minimum PC that can run Min 11, because it's not worth it. That's why let's switch to recommended requirements. And here you will see it says 8GB or more, but even 6GB graphic card is working fine for me. So. AGB is of course better and you will have much better performance. It will be faster. So definitely it's worth a shot. And the system memory requirement is 32 GB or more. And I agree with these guys. Definitely it is required. Otherwise it's going to be sluggish. And again for the storage, they say M.2 storage, which is the recommended one because it's fast enough to not slow down your processes. All right. Now, when we look at the higher end requirements, you will notice that things are going to get much more expensive from this side because the RAM itself is 64 GB and the graphic card is 11 GB of or more. Now, the question is, who is looking forward to getting a new rig or upgrading an existing machine to run Lumion 11? There are two types of people. Either it's for enthusiasts who just want to try it out and maybe studying at a uni or doing some professional work, but it's not a regular thing for them. So they can start with the recommended settings and get a machine that will do the job. So for this one, I would recommend, or I can recommend Lenovo Legion 5. And this is the machine I'm currently using, but they don't have it in stock, but the machine I'm currently using has a Ryzen 7 4800H processor, 1660 Ti graphic card, 512 GB of M.2 storage. And that works fine for me with the 16 GB of RAM. Of course, I can upgrade. This is what I intend to do in the future, but as of now, it's working fine. All right. Now, the second class of people are the professional creators, and they do this day in, day out. That's their job. So for these type of people, the bigger question is not which laptop to buy, is to decide whether they want to go for a laptop or they want to go for a desktop. Because with the laptop, we are looking at few limitations. If you're going to run this machine continuously for days rendering, day in, day out, the thermals can be big, big challenge. The second thing is upgradability. You won't be able to upgrade in the near future because GPU is not upgradable on the laptops. You can only upgrade your RAM. 
So a desktop would be a much better choice, but if you are traveling or you travel a lot and this can be an issue for you to take your desktop with you at all times, then of course, by all means, go for a laptop. In that category, the starting point, I would suggest the Legion 5 Pro with the 3060 variant here. There are also other machines that you can get for 3070 and even 11 GB of graphic card, but they're going to be more expensive. This machine you can get for roughly 1700, it can go up to $2,000, but the higher end laptops are going to cost you anywhere around $3,000 to $4,000. If you're going for a laptop, you need to have cooling pad, an external cooling pad, and you need to regularly check for dust in your fan blades. You don't want your machine to heat up. It's not good for the PC health. And for desktop, this goes without saying, you need a great cooling rig. In addition to all the components that you're going to put there. If you're planning to buy a new laptop or configuring your own desktop, and you would like to check the performance of the graphic card that you've selected, or you're just looking for a graphic card, I recommend you just go to Passmark G3D Mark, and here it can tell you the benchmarks of all the high-end video cards, and also it will give you an indication of the price. When you go through the list, you will see that all different bunch of graphic cards are listed here. Let's just check. I've already looked at the 3060 GPU. The score is 12241 and it's quite expensive. But if you look for 1660, you will see that the 1660 Ti is 11,837. Not bad given the price of this specific graphic card. Then you have the 1660 Super, which is slightly better in terms of performance and somewhat cheaper. But as you go up the list, you will notice that there are some previous generation graphic cards as well, which are quite cheaper and offer a decent spec. So I just invite you to go through this list to make a calculated choice. In this video, I talked about Lumen 11 requirements. If you want to see more detailed video or comparisons, or you have any other questions, do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.